we're going to fucking New York today because this girl decided she wants to be a stripper again. <laughs> we have to leave in five minutes. Are you packed? <laughs> I just realized I don't have any stripper shoes. Long story short, Mike was cuddling me, and then I was cuddling our baby Ida. She was a little spoon for me. And then Mike goes, Time to go to Sleepyville, population three. Mike, <laughs> I didn't know you were such a pussy. <laughs> Babe, your bag. Babe, come on, you know the drill. Fucking motherfucker, dude. Yeah, man, my boy just DM'd me this shit. What is this all about? Investigation. Who is the soccer player that DM'd Lana Rhodes? <laughs> Babe, spill the beans. On what? Who is the soccer player that DM'd you? I don't know. The whole world wants to know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a secret. It's a mystery. Look, I bought this shirt. You're wearing a New York shirt to New York City? Yeah, baby, go ahead and turn the camera off. The interview's not allowed on YouTube. You're already going back to your life as a stripper. Look at these two new pieces from my new aquarium. I'm making a bikini bottom aquarium. And by the way, you need to get my new fish tank out of the car. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'll show you this. It's a crusty crab. We have SpongeBob's house. <laughs> and then we have this is Squidward's house, right? No, it's not. Whose house is this? Babe. We have to fucking go. Later tonight, I'm gonna go watch Lana do a meet and greet with some fans. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm gonna go. You just said that you don't care. I didn't say that I don't care. What are you talking about? Guys, let us know in the comments if a guy doesn't care about you being around other guys. Does that mean that he doesn't care about you? All right, girls, if you're watching this. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. Should I dump Mike? You're gonna let our comments decide whether or not you stay with me. <laughs> All right, well, comment below if you think we should stay together. Also, I know this video wasn't. Babe, why are you getting down there right now? I'm shooting. What? what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm not trying to distract you from making your video. Stop. Babe, what is this dollhouse? <laughs> is Peanut's new cage that I'm going to be constructing this week. And I'm gonna put little tunnels from floor to floor for him to go on. This is for your hamster. This is for my hamster. How is your hamster gonna use a bathtub? Well, he has a bathtub in his other thing. I fill it with food. You fill it with food? Yeah, I'm actually gonna use the other bathtub because it's bigger and it can hold more nuts. Why are you so obsessed with building vignettes for your animals? <laughs> You've got a fish tank built after SpongeBob, and you've got one tiny little minnow that swims around in it. And I have a final finishing. Who the fuck took this out of there? I got some road so the fish can go from place to place, and then I got these little street signs. Street signs for the fish? Yeah. Does that help them get to where they need to go? Yeah. What do they say? Prepare to stop. End. Babe, why do you do that? This is so weird right now. It's Sunday afternoon in Beverly Hills. These streets are usually bumper to bumper. Yeah, this is usually like balls to the walls traffic. Guys, there's currently no food left in the world and we're at PetSmart trying to score some dog food. You know, if it could come to the point where there's not enough food to eat, we might have to eat the dog's food. <laughs> Just so you know, Lana has absolutely nothing in her refrigerator at home. L quite literally nothing. That's eat. why I'm coming with you during the lockdown. So she wants to come stay at our house and we're gonna send Olivia, my old assistant, to stay at Lana's house during the lockdown and take care of the dogs. That's the plan right now. So I will be stuck with this girl locked in <laughs> for two fucking weeks. Well, I know what's fucked up, guys. I had to beg him to let me to come. He just wanted me to fend for myself at my apartment with no food. Babe, did you ever think you'd be the type of boyfriend who micromanages their girlfriend and makes them keep changing their clothes? We're going to see the fucking Nelk boys. You look like a homeless person. <laughs> and now you got Harvard because you give the best brains, yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite stepsister, Lana Rose, and this is the Lana Shift. Right now, I'm with my filthy rich boyfriend driving in his Lamborghini. We're about to go to Saks Fifth Avenue and buy a bunch of shoes for me on his credit card. None of that's true, except for the fact that I'm driving the car. Do I want to ask you any questions? How do you feel about me, babe? Um, I think you're a very, very, very sweet girl. Guys, at what point in a relationship, like how many months in do you say I love you? Can you let us know? We're not there yet, babe. So but thank babe, you. how do you do this? My arm's hurting. <laughs> I was just saying you're really funny and I don't think a lot of people know that. I think they just, they think you're really sexy and you're really sexual, but you're also very funny, am super really, smart, super really focused that, on business. Am I really that sexual in real life though? In real life you're not sexual at all, but why don't you take this back before I crash the Lambo? So, Michael Malak, what kind of girls do you have in your DMs these days? The majority of girls have stopped DMing me. I think they realize that I, I kind of 
have hit the peak on the girl scale and so um and also that whenever a girl DMs you, you show your girlfriend. I do. And she I always knows do show everything. <laughs> Basically, I'm completely fucking pussy whipped. But boys, if you're gonna get pussy whipped, get pussy whipped by a really rich, really hot ex porn star. That's my advice. What does my money have to do with it? I mean, get pussy whipped by a really hot. You're the real cold digger here. <laughs> All right, I'll put it in sport mode. Put it in sport. Oh my god, why is this bus? We have stopped. There's a car right in front of us. You know I don't look good going fast. Now I'm having severe anxiety. Can you put it back in, in comfort mode? What's the weirdest place you've ever had sex? I've set, talked about this on the podcast before. The hood of a car in broad daylight. Oh, you told me this before, actually. Do you remember what mine is? No, and I don't want to hear about it again. I gave a blowjob under the table at IHOP. Love so much. <laughs> all right, bye guys. We'll talk to you later after Mike goes and buys me all the Chanel shoes at Sex Fifth Avenue. So basically, never. It's, See it's, ya. It's toodles. <laughs> Whenever I was a little kid, my mom wouldn't buy me a dog, so I used to plot and make little plans to steal my neighbor's dogs, and then I'd go and I'd take them, and, and then I'd bring them back to my house, and I'd tell my mom that I found them outside and that they were stray dogs, but she always knew, and she'd make me return the dog. Yeah, block with red tape, phone them sliding their day, bunch of hollows spinning out the Glock. I've been serving fiends all day, out there posted with the gang, nigga, we was taught to get it off the block. It's a hundred bands in the safe, now I got expensive taste, Michael Mary jeans, fill them up with knots. I've been on my grind that day, don't believe in taking breaks, I ain't stopping till we chillin'.